Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's video, I decided to do this really bright yellow eye look. I am so in love how this came out. I love the pop of color. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe in the little button down there. And if you want to know how I got this look, then just keep on watching. So excuse my bare face, I only have my eyebrows done for today because I want to do, um, I want to film like an eye look today and then I'm also going to be filming a review of the foundation that I have been loving. Um, so I'm planning to like uh, film a couple videos today. So I wanted to start by a super easy eye look um, ready for spring. I am so ready for this cold to go away. The weather keeps changing here in San Diego and I don't like it. I just... I want warmth already like I, I need the Sun and I want summer already here which I know that it's gonna be like a super super hot summer I'm gonna start by priming my eyelids and I'm just gonna take my concealer and I am running super low on my tarp um, tart shape tape I really need to get a new one so I'm just gonna prep my eyelids and just blend that with my, I was gonna say beauty blender. Um, this is the Real Techniques sponge, which I remember them being a little bit more like um, squishy. I don't know why. Like it's, I already run, like I run it under the water, and it's not as like squishy as I remember them. Haven't used a Real Techniques sponge in a long time, and I was at Ulta and I decided to like pick one up. But yeah, it's not as squishy as I remember them. Which, I don't know. I used to love the Real Tank sponges, but now I just, I don't know. They're not as squishy. I'm going to take the James Charles and Morphe palette. So I'm going to take uh, this color right here, which is called Tune. And I am just going to blend that out on my crease. Just so that I have a really, I closed my powder and like, love powder went around. Um, just so that I have a really nice, kind of like transition shade. Oh, just I'm just gonna um, tap out the ex the excess axis. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of that tune shade, and I'm just gonna tap out the excess and blend that on my crease. So now I am gonna take that bright yellow, which is called a B, very appropriate, James. So uh, this bright yellow right here, and. I'm going to be putting that on my lid and then I'm going to just blend it up upwards. I actually really need to clean my brushes. Um, I keep them in this like little thing and as you can see when I did my like purple look, a lot of my brushes are like stained. So I really like need to give them like a second wash. I'm just going to grab this Morphe M224 and I'm just going to pack that color. Obviously tapping out the excess so that we don't have or we can prevent as much fallout as we can. I don't think, I think I've only used this yellow in my um, Recreating James Charles um, makeup look, which I'll link up here and then as well in the description box. You can use maybe a little bit of Fix Plus and just spray it if you want a more like neon color. Um, so yeah, I'm just packing this yellow eating a banana because I'm starving and I haven't eaten breakfast um, I just drank my like cup of coffee and it's 209 and I'm really really hungry but I wanted to film so, as you can see it's like a super bright yellow so what I'm going to do to tone it down a little bit, I'm going to take the Cute AF ColourPop. I'm going to use the color French Kiss, which is this one right here. And it's a very muted yellow. It has kind of like a mustardy undertone. Um, and I'm going to use that same flat shader brush that we use the color B from the James Charles palette. And this is the M224. And I'm just going to take that and again, pack it. Pack it, pack it. And then we're going to take a really fluffy brush and just blend that on our crease. So I started re-watching Jane the Virgin because they only have up to season 4 on, on Netflix. And today's March 27th, so the new season. Um, comes out today, but I don't have cable so 
I'm like rewatching it so that when it comes out on Netflix, I kind of like am um, current. I don't know how Michael came back, and now I'm like super confused because now apparently Michael comes back, but I thought he was dead. I don't know. It's a good show, a good telenovela. Um, so I'm gonna take the color Morphe, the color. I'm gonna take that same French Kiss color, and I'm gonna take the Morphe M535, which is a super fluffy brush, and I'm just gonna blend that on our crease now right now I don't know if you guys can see on camera um, but you can see that my crease is a little bit has like an orange tint to it and I think it was the first color that we used um, so I'm just gonna try and pack that yellow again but bring it a little bit to my crease and pack the yellow there The Morphe M433 in that same uh, French Kiss color and blend it on my crease. I'm slowly taking it up below my brow bone. And I'm just using the Morphe M433 brush just to blend that below my brow bone. I told you guys this was going to be a super simple like makeup look. Um, so I'm just going to take the NYX Professional Matte Liquid Liner. And I'm going to try my best to do a not so like kaboom wing. <laughs> So the struggle now would be to, you know, make the other one as similar as this one, which I always have this struggle. So I haven't done wing liner in quite a long time and I'm surprised they look good. For mascara, I'm gonna take the Essence Volume Stylish Lash, Ext Lash Extension Mascara with length lengthening fibers and I saw that Nicole Guerrero was raving about that um, this mascara and I decided to pick it up from Ulta I really they have another one the I think it's Lash Princess the one that I really really like um, I like this one it's just a little bit more on the dry side like the formula is a little bit drier than other mascaras sometimes the world forgets just to be kind that we're all going through something Well, damn, that was the um, new um, Keeping Up With The Kardashians trailer. So that was pretty intense. Uh, I'm going to go and put on my foundation, put on my face, the rest of my face, and I'll be right back with kind of like the finished look. Okay, so now to finish off the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and take the NYX Professional Retractable Eyeliner. And this is in white. And I'm just going to line my waterline with this. I'm just cleaning it a bit because it has a little bit of that purple look that I did. Um, that should be up when this video goes up. So, so that video should be already up. Uh, so I'll link it up here as well as in the description box if you guys haven't seen that. It's just a super easy cut crease purple look. When you're like putting um, liner on your waterline, just, I mean, you can definitely grab a brush and just like pull down your eye like that just so that you can open it um, I just use my finger but I tug on my eye a little bit now I'm gonna finish off my lower lash line and for that I'm just gonna take the color French Kiss from the ColourPop shadow palette and I'm just gonna take a tiny pencil brush if I can find one and this is a Morphe M169 Blend that on my lower lash line. So now I'm just gonna 
take a little bit of the mascara that I used and put a little bit on my top lashes and bottom lashes. Now for lips, I'm just going to take the lip liner by Jordana in the color Bare Blush. And this is like almost the exact color of my actual like lip color. Now for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to take my Flexitarian Colourpop Super Chic, Super Chic, <laughs> Super Cheek Highlighter. And I'm just going to take an E18 brush, pack it, and then put it right here. So that is it for this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe in the little button down there. As always, all of the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box as well as all of my social media and until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!